everyone, you have reached Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And finally, share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a video on Dr. Dre and Nicole Young. It's an update video because their um, situation has been going on for a little bit over a year now. Last year, 2020, Nicole Young, after 24 years of marriage, she filed for divorce. Um, it was some nastiness between them going back and forth. Um, you know, they had a little bit of it going on in the social media for everyone to see. But then it seemed to have died down just a tad bit. But when they first filed for divorce, Nicole Young said yes, they had a prenup. But shortly after they got married, Dr. Dre tore up that prenup, um, confessed his true love for her and said, this prenup means nothing to me. Don't even worry about it. So when she filed for divorce, um, Dr. Dre brings up this prenup that was allegedly tore up. So before they really can finalize their divorce, there was some back and forth about what Nicole was or wasn't going to get. And if this prenup still existed, and if it existed, was it valid? Well, since they've been going through that, she did get some temporary support initially. But on Tuesday of this week, the judge put in a final judgment. So the final judgment is that Dr. Dre will have to pay Nicole Young $3.5 million a year. I'm going to say the way it reads, it's almost like indefinitely. But I add on to that, and he has to pay it in monthly installments and is starting on August 1st of this year. The monthly installments for $3.5 million, it comes to roughly about a little under, a tad bit under um, $300,000 a month. But in addition to that, he still has to pay for her health insurance. In addition to that, they had two homes. I know one is in Malibu. I um, don't remember where the other one was, but he has to maintain and pay for those two homes also. And this is going to stay as is unless the judge changes it or she gets married or she enters into a domestic partnership. Um, not sure what they consider a domestic partnership, but if any of those happen, oh, and also, of course, if something happens to Dr. Dre where he's no longer on the serve, or something happens to Nicole and she's no longer here, of course, then the money ceases, you know, no payments are gonna go out. So with that being said, um, I don't know if the courts even considered or mentioned this prenup and brought that into the picture when the judgment was made. And Dr. Dre is on record as a billionaire. So I guess when you're a billionaire and you have to pay $3.5 million a year to somebody, maybe that's a drop in your bucket. I'm not sure how he feels about it. Um, do you think that he, Dr. Dre is paying too much? Do you think that he's paying too little? I mean, you're talking 24 years of marriage and the two kids are grown, but still they had two children together and she stopped her career. That was one thing that she mentioned too early on. She stopped her career once she met Dre and just became like a mom and, you know, the housewife and all of that good stuff. So, um... 3.5 million sounds like a lot to me and to, I guess, a lot of people that might be watching, you know, but in his world, a billionaire, is $3.5 million really a lot? Not sure. Let me know your thoughts on the situation. Chat with me in the comments. The way I feel is... um it's, it's, it's always hard to say what someone should or should not get, but 24 years of marriage is a long time and the number sounds fair to me. She has $3.5 million a year. She is still not going to, with $3.5 million, be able to totally live and maintain the lifestyle that she was used to with Dre, but she could come pretty close. So um, I'm sure they, they did private jets and all that stuff. 
I'm not sure if your only income is the 3.5 million and you're not constantly making more money. I don't know if I would be spending my money on private jets and stuff like that. And, you know, it was said too that she had a lot of furs and the furs were in temperature controlled closets in the home that they shared together. I'm not sure she's going to be able to afford to do all that stuff. I don't know, but I do think the judgment is fair. Um, she'll be fine and she can live well. I want to say she's 51 or maybe 52. She can live well off of $3.5 million a year. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's too little? Um, do you think she's going to be fine? Do you think she will ever remarry again? I don't think so in terms of that because who would be able to maintain this lifestyle for her? And remember, if she gets married, he no longer has to pay. Anyway, guys, see you in the next video. Chat with me in the comments and thanks for watching.